Hey guys and girls, my name is The Gaming Tech. Welcome on into the channel. We're still currently looking at Satisfactory 1.0. And in this video, I was wanting to have a look at and show you drones and drone hubs and how I'm using them. Uh, so, sort of a little guide on how I'm using the drones and hopefully this might, might help you guys in deciding how to utilise drones for yourself. Or you might be able to tell me a better way of utilising drones. Uh, either or, hopefully the video will be of interest. So let's just jump into it. Obviously drones are unlocked in tier 8. Um, quite expensive to unlock if you don't have aluminium production running uh, or the radio controllers. Uh, you can obviously purchase those items if you're syncing other items um, with tickets. And that's pretty much how I unlocked uh, drones to begin with. Because uh, I wasn't producing aluminium or radio control units. I'm still not producing radio control units. But I'm in the process of setting up radio control units. And I'm going to be using drones to help me get everything to and from the, the factory. Uh, so we'll just have a little overview in what we're looking at. Um, now obviously this is my design for the drone hub. So we can have four drones on it. Obviously we've got one which is red here. That is supplying the fuel to the hub. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go to the blueprint designer later and I'll, I'll break down one of the, the hubs and let you see inside it and stuff. Uh, so obviously we've got fuel coming into that one. That's getting fuel from the turbo fuel plant. Obviously you can use all all the other different fuels as well. And depending on the fuel depends on how fast and how far your drones can go as far as I believe. Not tested it myself but I've certainly seen a, a few different videos. Uh, so if you're curious about that go, go check out some of them. And then obviously I've got three additional uh, ports there for incoming and outgoing and obviously we've got our inputs and outputs down there so what we'll do we'll have just a quick quick look you can see you can see we've got fuel coming in on that one aluminium ingots coming in this one copper ingots and then I've got copper sheet as well so obviously these are all made elsewhere and then this one here again nitrogen I thought the the best way of getting nitrogen over here was through drones obviously you can set up trains as well but I've I've only dabbled in trains once to be fair I've only done one train line it went pretty well, but I've not really done much more with trains. Then we've got aluminium sheeting, and this one, this one's uh, bringing in crystal oscillators. Obviously, that's something new that I've started producing over there, and it's uh, starting to take its time. Now, the reason I've sort of started using drones is obviously this is sort of my my starting area still. I have got sort of satellite factories over over that direction and stuff. Can obviously I've got a turbo fuel plant, stuff like that. Not too big, but big enough to give me power and additional fuel, packaged fuel, obviously, um, to power the drones. You can see there I've got another hub set up over there for bringing bringing in more items for actually building the radio control units. Um, so obviously, we'll have go have a look at the blueprint designer. I'll let you see what I've done. Obviously, I've done a little bit of sort of decoration. Oh, that can get deleted. A little bit of decoration just to uh, make it look like they're part of the building. I think it all looks pretty cool, to be fair. But yeah, let's go have a look at the actual hub itself. Right, so if we load this up. So we've got it set as a blueprint drone tower. 
So you can see pretty much it's a 4x4 four four, um, square, essentially. You can decorate it any way you like. I think, uh, for me, this looks uh, pretty decent. It certainly looks functional. You can actually see the items going in and out, which are backlit. The three different uh, ports. If we come up here, I've also got a power pole in the center there, so we can actually place a pylon on top as well, so we can use that as uh, transferring power across. Let's take the skin off the top. And obviously you can see where the, the fuel comes in. It basically gets belted to the other ports. Pretty straightforward. Nothing too exciting there. Then obviously you've got the belts coming down. Obviously I've got that backlit. And I've got it so we've got the power coming in and I've just got the power sort of dotted about. Doesn't look the prettiest, but at the end of the day, you don't really see this part of the, the building. Then, obviously, as it comes down... Now, I've got these um, one meter foundations. That's to help place in the, the drone port on top. I'll show you that in a bit. Then down here... Obviously, we've got the, the inputs, outputs. So it's basically output, input, output, input, output, input. For the outputs, I've got a storage container just to act as a little buffer. Inputs don't have one. Didn't have the room for it. I suppose I could have done it on a floor above if, if needs be. I could have done that. And that would have extended the, the storage capacity for the inputs and outputs, I suppose. So there is plenty of room inside here for either decoration or if you wanted to do uh, storage bins for the inputs, I suppose. Then we've got different power points uh, just for different options and power in the building. And that is pretty much that is pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. Like I say, four by four square. I'm not too sure how it let me do this. We can see there that the, the extensions are actually overlapping the, the blueprint designer. I don't know if that's an intended feature or if that's just a happy accident. But certainly normally you can't uh, get past the, the blueprint designer. So... I'm not complaining. <laughs> so looking at this one, let's uh, clear this out. So obviously I've got different uh, drone hubs. Um, so depending on your situation. Like say if you're just having one sitting, sitting somewhere random. I'll just put it on a little plinth. So you've got your inputs, outputs. Uh, but the one that obviously we're using for the other one is I've got it set up with lights around it. There's a little bit of a faff getting the lights to line up to the front, but a little bit of jiggery-pokery, I managed to get it. Then obviously we've just got the, the framework for it to attach to the building. I actually use these on a lot of the sides of the the factory buildings and such. What I'll do is I'll come over here and I'll let you see one that I'm sort of currently setting up uh, to help build the radio control units. And I'll let you see as well why I'm I'll let you see as well why I'm wanting to use drones a little bit more. Now You've probably noticed that my builds and everything look pretty clean. Everything's all under floor uh, belted, pretty much. And <laughs> if we come down here, this area itself is uh, 
pretty chaotic and the thought of running belts all the way over to the other factory didn't really fill me fill me with joy so <laughs> I thought we'll uh, try something different so we're using drones now obviously I've got a computer factory over here I'm going to need computers for the radio control unit so what we've done is we've set up see I've just used one of the, the blueprints the ones with lights and we've got it belted up with computers coming in and I've just named it obviously I'm trying to name them in such a way that I know where they're coming from how much supply I've got so obviously we've got we've got here got 10.9 computers getting made per minute which isn't a lot so I've named it that so it's supply one now with it being a supply hub I've not had to put fuel in it because obviously the the other stations are supplying the drones with fuel so so far I've been able to just ferry stuff to and from and obviously you can have more than one drone come to this if I was to attach a drone to this for delivery you can only do to and from one place as far as I can tell so that's why I've left these empty from putting drones in so the drones from those hubs will come across and take the items as needed so that's how that's how we've sort of got it set up so what we'll do is we'll go back across there and we'll uh, set set the computers up over here okay so now we're back across to this this hub here this one's full of fuel you can see you've got the fuel at the points there so what we can do is attach another one of the drone hubs so if we go into our blueprints go under transport i'm going to do drone hubs with lights now the way it's set up on on this it's obviously the front one there is a fuel and then from the right going round it's like station one, two, three pretty much. Now this is the reason I've got the one meter foundation attached there because see trying to get this to attach is an absolute pain in the backside. <laughs> so pretty much do it there, press H to snap it and then we can just nudge it out and that should be it lined up just make sure yep looks all lined up now we can place it then all we need to do is connect power to there then what we can do get the fuel going in now this is going to be an output one now we're just going to call this um, do it computer drone one just so I don't get too confused now obviously this port we are now wanting to find the computer factory so we've now got the list so you can either, if you know the name of it, you can type it in, I suppose, or you can just scroll down. You can see how I've got them sort of set up. So there, there's a computer supply one. So that's pretty much set up there. And obviously we need to put a drone on it. So you can only have one drone per station, for what I've seen. I'll quickly paint it before it flies off. Now will disappear and go and uh, get the computers across. So basically, I'm using the the drone ports to bring bring certain items to here. Now, obviously, the radio control units. It's not something that needs a massive amount of uh, items. I think if you're needing like hundreds upon hundreds of items per minute, then I don't know if drones would be suitable. It might be might be doable for a, a certain extent, but 
just for the likes of the throughput, you might be better off either with belts or trains. But certainly for the smaller items, I think this is a pretty viable option. So obviously that's just my sort of little introduction into drones and drone hubs. Let me know in the comments what you think. Hopefully this has been a little bit educational for you. It's nothing too super in-depth, I suppose, but maybe in-depth enough just to give you ideas and how to possibly utilise uh, drones because obviously getting the drones supplied with fuel is uh, is a bit of a challenge, especially if you're wanting a lot of drones. And I, I think this seems to be a pretty viable option, having a, a drone port that's... Uh, dedicated its fuel. So obviously we have our computers coming in. And we should actually see the, the computers come come down here. And there we go. Pretty straightforward and obviously it'll fill up that storage container as well so we've got a decent supply. And the good thing as well is the drones will keep flying back and forth until the station's full. Once the station's full, they'll just sit there. They'll just sit there until they're ready and then they'll fly away and do their, do their business again. So you can see Hopefully that's a good insight and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. If you liked the video, please smash that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't and ring that bell. Leave a comment even if it's an emoji for engagement. As always, I'll leave a link on the left for the series as well as another video of interest. And on the right, a link to this channel. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.